What's up guys? One more video before we leave Canipex. We're here with Pete Hello. and Maggie and Hello. we're in their demo room. And today we're gonna to be talking about the differences between the Cobras. People ask me, if you could only have one, which one would you get? Without a doubt, it's the 10 inch Nipex, right? So the next question they always ask me, what's the difference between the Cobra, the alligator? Like, I don't understand. What's the deal with the quick set? So today, the people that make them is gonna answer your questions. Let's see. One of the questions we get, like you mentioned before, is okay, what's the difference between Cobra plier, the, the smart grip, the quick set, and the alligator plier? Mm -hmm. well, we're, we're gonna break all four of these down for you. Everybody's familiar with our classic 10 inch 8701 250 Cobra pliers. That's the greatest tool. Oh my gosh, right this is so handy. Push button adjustment, angle teeth on it, bites in, doesn't let go, locks into place. You can't beat this tool. Yep. So then we get a lot of questions like, okay, you have this one, which is called the smart grip. It looks like the Cobra, heads similar to it, but what's all this mechanism inside of here, okay? The first thing you'll notice, it says open. There's a little lever back here. All this is is just a little lock to open up the tool. Yeah. It's spring-loaded, okay? The reason why we designed this tool is for this. If you want something one-handed, really quick, grab onto something, that's what this tool is for. Now, I don't lock it in place because right. there's nowhere to lock it in place, but that's what this tool is designed for. So everybody that's about our age remembers the old robo grips <laughs> yeah. that Sears had, but yeah. they didn't work. But y'all yeah. have one that actually worked. Well, so. not to knock the robo grip, <laughs> but it was big and bulky right. and awkward. Right. This is real simple because it's it's got the same design as our Cobra. Simple, yep. locks into place. Okay, and I lock it. All I gotta do is push it back in. All it does is just lock the handles from opening up. Okay. Second one we have. Again, it looks really, really similar to the Cobra. In fact, identical unless you look at, look, there's no teeth on one side mm -hmm. and inside there. And it also has a red button to it, but yep. everything else is exactly the same. Well, what's different about this one here? What's different about this one here is I have to push the button, have to open it all the way, mm -hmm. and then look at that. I can just adjust it just by moving, I'll do it again, just by adjusting it by pushing it up. Okay. Okay. So the advantage of that is all I have to do is that okay that's it that's yeah, the difference nice. in this one in here okay again lower it all the way down push it all the way back up now people get confused a little bit about between the cobra and the alligator the real easy difference between the two of them is this right in here okay mm -hmm. the cobra has the push button this just has a little slide with a little notch inside of there and i can lower it to whatever position i need to and still locks into place just like a cobra so is any one of them any more durable than another? Like is the alligator stronger than the cobra? No, they're all, again, they're all designed exactly the same, same teeth pattern to it, same box joint design that we talked about earlier. It's the same thing. A lot of it really comes down to clay. Some of it comes down to personal preference. Mm -hmm. Some, some people like the style of the alligator just because there's only nine adjustments and they can work with that. Some people prefer push button where I have a lot more adjustments in between that. Some like this quick set, uh, the smart grip. Some like the smart grip just because I can do it one-handed. Yep. Okay. Again, personal preference. 
all amazing tools, all do the great job for you. So which one of those is your personal Ooh, favorite? Oh my gosh. Like if you could only, because <laughs> I get asked this question all the time and this is my answer. I, I, I gotta, I gotta go, with, I gotta go with this. I, I can't, I can't let down the Cobra. I gotta go with the 87 mm. on 250. There's well, so much I, you can do with that. If I couldn't have this one, I would go with a quick set. Probably go with the quick set, <laughs> so, yeah. That's my opinion. And I, and it's just, like you say, it's personal preference. There's nothing wrong with the alligator. No, nothing wrong with it. Just I personal just preference. prefer, because like if you got something really big, you know, you have to kind of, you don't have as many adjustments on it. Yeah. So your hand may be open a little wider than you like, or maybe not as wide as you like. And, and, and it's just cool pushing the button and adjusting yeah. it and letting it go. <laughs> Those I like that. just awesome. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That's everything you need to know about the Cobra, the Smart Grip, the Quick, quick set. set, and the Alligator. He's covered every point, the pros and the cons, and why well, you need just, if you're undecided, just buy them all, right? <laughs> Buy them all. Buy them all, try them out, and then you figure out which one you like. You won't be disappointed. So, there you go, guys. Like always, thanks for watching the video. Maggie's here. Go She's follow got a us. brand new Instagram page. Knipix North America. There you follow go. us. And Pete's YouTube channel is Knipix Tools. Tools. Knipix Tools. Knipix Tools. Knipix Tools. Tons of videos, shows you how to use everything the correct way, and uh, some pretty cool videos, like very educational. Does cool. a great job on. It. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks. Thumbs up. Merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.